Hey guys, what's up? This is Phoenix, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you how to make text a bit like the Battlefield 3 font using Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is make yourself a little picture. I went 500 pixels by 200 pixels, uh, and then I select the background color. For this, I just used a kind of a dark blue color. Use a fill tool to make your background blue. Select the text tool, and the closest font I could find was Eurostar Roman. Um, used about 72 pixels as the font size and then obviously just use the click, uh, text tool there to click in type out your word, in this case I'm obviously writing battlefield but you can write whatever word you want uh, move that around to get it in the centre there double click on the battlefield layer select outer glow, change it to normal opacity to 100% um, make it black because you obviously want this sort of outside to be black um, spread, just keep that up until the, there's a decent size, um, I think it should be sort of touching each other, although I think I may have gone a bit too much, so I went to about 80%, you probably want to leave it slightly below that. Um, you duplicate that layer by right clicking and click duplicate layer, ok. Then select new layer by clicking create new layer. You select both the new layer and the previous duplicated layer, right click and select merge layers. Select the magic wand tool on the left there, I went for tolerance of 5, and then you hold down shift and click on each of the letters individually until the white section of the battlefield word is all selected. Once that's done, you simply push the delete button to delete that white part of the layer 2, and now we need to get rid of the black part of layer 1. So to do that, double click on the word battlefield, the battlefield layer, and then click or unclick the outer glow box and now you'll see that by clicking on the two different layers we have one which is just the white section of the word and one which is just the black section of the word. Okay. Next thing we need to do is get a picture which I will put in the description, I'll put a link in there for you. Uh, this picture here. <clears throat> you need to adjust it, I mean you don't need to but I chose to. Uh, whack the brightness up quite a lot, I went to about 135 here. Um, also go into image adjustments uh, hue and saturation, and not the saturation down a bit. I went to about minus 60, I think, in the end. Yep. Um, now you need to go down to the rectangle tool, which you find in the line tool. Just hold that down when I find it here. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle across the top. Nice big black rectangle as well. Make sure it's black. Then you go down to that layer, double click on it. Again, select outer glow, change again to normal, 100% opacity. Um, spread uh, down a bit, uh, about 40, 50, something like that. Um, maybe a bit less, but maybe about 30. Size about 24 ish. Um, obviously, all these figures depends on the size of the picture and the font, so you might want to change all of them. Uh, now, again, you merge the two layers, so again, right click on them both, merge layers, push Ctrl A to select the whole picture, Ctrl C to copy it, go back into this one and push Ctrl V to paste it in, but make sure you do it on the top layer. Now, you've got that layer selected. Go to your opacity, knock it down about 50%, and now you can see where it's going to merge over. So you want to have it up about halfway through the battlefield, like this. Go back across to the opacity, knock that back up to 100%, and push Ctrl, Alt, and G at the same time. And that will create this effect where the black section is now half black and half the picture, and the white section is untouched. Um, finally, you want to just fill in the background with a slightly darker colour. I went with red at 5, green at 5 blue at 10 uh, to get a nice sort of dark blue almost black kind of colour and now if you compare that to Battlefield 3 logo you'll see it looks fairly similar but it's not identical I think like I say the uh, I, I made the outside a bit too big maybe but you, you can fiddle around with the values and numbers um, to get them all together so you can move them around together again select the three layers merge them and now the whole word should move together um, otherwise you'll just get a white bit or you know a black bit or you know it, it won't look right so anyway, thanks for watching guys, I um, hope you found it useful, uh, this is a new outro that I'm doing as well, so let me know what you think about that too. Take care guys, see you soon, bye bye.